Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, November 27th. Landscape it is. At their Tuesday meeting, the Santa Clarita City Council directed city staff to install nothing more than landscaping in the center of a roundabout currently under construction at the corner of Newhall Avenue, 5th Street and Main Street. The decision comes after two go-rounds of public input, including online surveys and much of the discussion of the controversial Old Town Newhall traffic circle. About two-thirds of the responses to the latest online survey said to do absolutely nothing with the center of the roundabout. City Manager Ken Stripland says the city could still be open for input later in the process. Black Friday is still two days away, but a line has already begun to form outside the Best Buy on Bokeh Canyon Road. With more than 140 million shoppers expected nationwide over the weekend and stores opening earlier than ever, some families are foregoing Thanksgiving altogether to be the first to get Black Friday deals. Anticipating large crowds, Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station deputies caution shoppers to be kind to one another and to keep close tabs on children and their belongings. Coming up after the break, Turkey Day means football on SCV TV. More about the high school football Thanksgiving marathon next. SCV News Break is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like then it's addictive. I think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction. Like, your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you very, very much. Thanksgiving is one of the biggest travel holidays of the year, but for those who are staying local, there are plenty of ways to celebrate in our valley with family and friends, or even help those less fortunate. Earlier in the week, the Newhall Community Center hosted a free Thanksgiving dinner for Community Center and Senior Center members. On Tuesday, the Boys and Girls Club, in partnership with KHTS, gave away 100 Thanksgiving dinners to needy families with the help of a community food drive. On Thanksgiving Day, Senior Center members are invited to a free meal at 10 a.m., Local Lions Clubs and volunteers from the Lohart High School District are volunteering to provide and serve a meal. Owners of the New Hall Bicycle Company aren't letting the recent closure of their shop stop their ninth annual Thanksgiving feast on Main Street. Food donations are still needed for hundreds of people who are expected to show. And this Thanksgiving is as good as any time to relive some of your favorite high school football memories. Starting at 7 a.m. Thanksgiving Day, SCB TV will re-televise the one-hour football preview special, followed by every game from the 2013 season. Non-league games will be played Thursday. Friday, it's all-league play beginning at 8 a.m. SCB TV can be found on Time Warner Cable Channel 20, Digital Channel 97103, and AT&T Uverse Channel 99. For the full marathon schedule, log on to scbnews.com and search the word football. Well, Hanukkah, the eight-day Jewish Festival of Lights, starts Wednesday at sundown, commemorating the rededication of the temple after the Syrian occupation in 165 B.C. That's according to Jewish tradition. Our valley's three synagogues, Temple Beth Ami, Congregation Beth Shalom, and Kabad Jewish Center, are hosting several events open to the public. Each congregation will have their own Hanukkah service on Friday night. There will also be a Hanukkah festival at the Westfield Valencia Town Center on Sunday, December 1st, with crafts, food, live entertainment, a raffle, and lighting of the giant menorah. Mark your calendars for Hanukkah on ice at the Valencia Ice Station on December 2nd, and Hanukkah story times at Barnes & Noble on December 2nd and 3rd. Hanukkah, for your information, ends on Thursday, December 5th. Turning to weather, clear skies with a high of 74 degrees in Santa Clarita Wednesday. Overnight lows are expected in the 50s tonight. It looks as if we've avoided the possibility of rain on Thanksgiving, but there's still a chance of showers Friday with highs expected in the upper 70s. Temperatures will creep up a couple of degrees over the weekend, topping out around 73 on Sunday. We've got a lot going on for the holidays, but also in the entertainment scenes, we've got Stephen K. Peoples to tell us all about it. Well, thanks, Ryan. Well, Thanksgiving and Hanukkah weekend are on. Now, if you'd rather party than shop on Thanksgiving night, you should head over to the VU Bar and Lounge in Newhall. 
The Vu's Thanksgiving shenanigans start at 8 o'clock, and beers are just a dollar. DJ Shadow will spin the jams all night long, and they promise special guests, too. Call 255-7833 for more info. Now, if you could use some laughs this weekend, check out JR's Comedy Club at Marie Callender's on the Old Road. Friday and Saturday night, headliner Mark Yaffe, winner of the Ventura Comedy Festival's 2012 competition, will riff on his multicultural roots and the crazy culture clashes they create. Showtime's 9 o'clock, and tickets are just, just $15. For JR's reservations, call 661-259-2291 or visit ComedyInValencia.com. And Saturday night at 10, catch the premiere broadcast of Punkabilly Raver's Hard Six on SCV TV's House Blend, hosted by yours truly. The trio featuring Fuse on guitar and vocals, Vocal Side on bass, and Six on drums rock four tunes, including a couple of new ones they haven't recorded yet. That's House Blend on Saturday night right here on SCV TV. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24 7 at hometownstation.com scvnews.com, and my blog, peoplesplace.com. I'm Stephen K. Peoples on the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, Ryan. All right, thanks, Stephen. That's all for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching, and have a happy and safe Thanksgiving weekend. I'm Ryan Haslam. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.